So we will be running a Minecraft server on Amazon Light Sale, and we're going to be referencing the tutorial. It takes about 10 minutes that they have on Amazon Web Services. And so for the cost, um, if you're using a big server, you should go with the $5 every month option. I personally am only going for the $3.50 option. And it'll charge you every month, but for the first first month, it's free. So first, you're going to want to make your account. Sign in. And make sure you go to services. Under compute, click the second option, light sale. It'll open up a new tab. Ready. So you're going to have to make an instance. I already have made instances. But I'll go ahead and create another one. So you're going to click Linux. It's already the default, so you don't have to worry about that. And also for your location, more than likely, it'll already be correct by default. But just make sure it's the closest location to you. In my case, it's going to be Oregon. And make sure you click OS only under select a blueprint and then click Ubuntu. Make sure you put 18.04 rather than 16.04 and going forward from that this is what I was referring to at the beginning of the video most people would choose five dollars I am going with the 3.5 and name your instance I'm going to be naming my Minecraft server in all caps and make sure that it's unique so that you know what you're doing every time you're configuring it. And create the instance. Oh. Alright, well, I guess I'll have to go and use my other instances, but yeah, that's how you create one. So I'm just gonna go back and go back to light sale. Okay, so once you've made your instance, then you can just click on it. And you're going to have to go to networking and the IP addresses. They're already there by default. So you're just going to scroll down and you're going to have to make a new rule for the firewall. So you're just going to click add rule. Leave these two the way they are. The default is correct. And you're going to have to enter 25565 right here. That's the Minecraft network protocol. So just enter that. And when you're done, you're going to click create. I already have mine done, so I'm going to click cancel. And when you're done, then it'll look exactly like this at the bottom. Make sure it's restricted to any IP address so that any of your friends can join it. Alrighty, and then I believe after, I believe that's all we have to do here. Let's see. Okay, so after that, you're going to go back to the connect tab. So you're all done with the networking. Go to connect. Connect using SSH. And it'll open up this command prompt. All right. And then you're going to want to minimize this. Go ahead and just go ahead and copy this. So I have a little disclaimer. So at the end of this command prompt, I'll be able to do all of these, but at the end, I don't have enough memory or storage to completely run it, but I'll still follow through with everything. And so let me just get rid of this. Hit enter, then go ahead and it'll start downloading. Might wanna hit enter again just to make sure it's all done. Go ahead and minimize that again, scroll down, and ready. so go ahead and copy this. All we have to do is run all of these commands. Go back, and paste that. And there we go, press space or return to end. So basically what that means is that once we close that window, 
Minecraft will still keep running. Then this system hold the files. See? It's basically just the same thing over and over again. And then see and this website that's listed here. See that would actually take you to this tab right over here. And um it's on the Minecraft's official website and it tells you exactly what to download and all that. Okay, enter. And then see where I said there it is. See, this is the download I was referring to that is straight from the website. So copy that. And then you give it to the command prompt. See, and then that'll come up and here it is downloading at a hundred. And we will copy this. This is gonna officially run the Minecraft server. And this is where my little disclaimer comes in because I don't have enough memory to officially run it. Ready? So hit enter. See, insufficient memory. So yours is gonna look different. Yours is going to look, let's see, where is it? It's going to look like this. So it's going to be an error, but it'll be a different type of error. You need to agree to the EULA. So that's that's what this is. It's the Minecraft End User License Agreement. And so basically you just need to say that you agree to it. So you're going to go ahead and copy this. Same exact thing as the other. As the other command prompt window. Go ahead and paste. Next. So now you're accepting the policy. Hit enter. And now you're going to rerun the command. Alrighty, so yeah, I have insufficient memory, but after that, then uh, you should be able to officially run your server after you've hit those commands. So you monitor the console for any errors. If, it, if everything goes well, here's what you should see right here. It'll just be this long line of it preparing the spawn area. It should be done. And once that's done, then it should be up and running. And then to connect to your Minecraft client, you're just going to install Minecraft. And here, let me show you that actually. And I'll show you where. So this is the Java edition. Takes a bit of time. That should be ready. All right, perfect. So then you're going to go to multiplayer and server. And so you look at that IP address that was entered earlier and you're just gonna type in that IP address here, go ahead and name it, and then you'll click done. And that's it, and that's how you join your server. Yeah, and once you're, once you're satisfied with your server, see it'll look like that. That's where you enter the server address. Then these aren't mandatory. 
but they're just like the next steps that you can take. It's just to create a static IP address, create a snapshot of your instance, and attach a disk to your instance. And all those tutorials are down here. Yep, that's how you that's how you create a Minecraft server on Amazon Lightsail. Doesn't take too long. And doesn't cost too much either. Thank you.